guys welcome back to my channel so in today's episode i'm going to be teaching you how to make something really yummy saying that when you are addicted to kitchen a time will come when you will develop a um, recipe by yourself so today i'm going to teach you how to make a plantain jello fries this is a recipe that i developed for myself now this plantain jello fries looks just like you know this jello uh, plantain that's exactly how it looks like like i said it is my recipe um there is one thing you have to take note of this recipe this recipe needs to be cooked diligently it's not something that you just cook and go away like let me tell the truth it burns like it burns like fire if you leave it it will definitely burn now the secret to reduce that burn inside is make sure you use little plantain like me i love to put a whole lot of plantain i love it sweet but if you can reduce the plantain you can reduce plantain and add more Tomatoes. I have tried it and I really like it. So that is why I want to share the recipe with you. If you like, you can try it. It's your choice. But I'm telling you, you're going to enjoy every bit of it. Like I said, you it, you don't expect it to come out like normal jollof rice. It's just like plantain, you know, the beans, the way they come out, plantain, the jollof. Um, love things that's how it looks like it's not something that will come out you know one by one just like the normal jollof rice this kind this one is kind of um, smooth you know that's plantain puree you're gonna add plantain into the one i'll show you how i'm going to do it okay so let's get started with the cooking action now first of all i will go ahead and transfer all my ingredients into the blender so i just pour in my coconut milk if you don't have coconut milk, you can actually use water. So next, I'm gonna throw in is my sliced ripe plantain. Like I said, you can actually reduce that if you want to. So next, I'm gonna be throwing in now is my tomato, which I have chopped into big sizes. Also help the blending process. So next, I'll be adding now it's my shamba, which is also known as the red chili pepper. So next, I'm gonna be throwing now is my scotch bonnet there's a whole lot of scotch bonnet but you can actually use that if you want to so next i'm going to be throwing in now it's my onion yeah of course it's necessary and next i'm going to be throwing in now it's my garlic you all know that i don't cook with a garlic you all know that right <laughs> so next i'm going to be throwing in now it's just a root of ginger and also my sugar pepper you can actually omit this if you want to now you can buy this in the hands of those man and I say suya. So next I'm going to be trying to add now is my white pepper for more flavoring. So everything has to go in. There's no waste in my kitchen at all. <laughs> There's no waste. Come on. It's clear. <laughs> so next I'm going to be trying in now is my curry powder for more coloring. So next I'm going to be doing that is to cover it and blend onto a soft puree is formed actually now continue to blend that until everything is completely blended okay so that's enough for now all right that's the blending done so let's move over to the next step <laughs> now start by heating a quarter cup of oil in your pot and next transfer your onion now I'm going to be allowing this to saute for about 2 minutes to bring more flavor from the uh, from the onion. You all know that flavor of course when it saute for a long time. Oh yeah. You know that <laughs> you notice the difference. Yeah. So next I'm going to be throwing in my garlic, my minced garlic. Yeah, I know I have garlic already in my blender. But for more flavor though. So I'm going to be sauteing this for about 2 minutes again making sure that the flavor has been accepted so next i'm gonna be trying now is my tomato paste now this will help to bring everything together 
the parade I've blended. So I'm going to allow this to sauté for about two minutes until the salt paste is being removed a little bit from the tomato paste. So next thing I'm going to be doing now is to grab my, my blending mix. So I'm just going to go ahead and transfer everything into the frying oil. Now see how it looks. Now this is exactly what I'm talking about. You can notice the change in the paste already. So I'm just going to go ahead and stir this around. So next I'm going to be adding my salt and also my stock cube. Now I'm using a chicken stock cube. You can use any other cube if you want to. So I'm going to be turning this around. Now I had to use only these two because I know in blender I added a lot already. So next I'm going to be draining now is my rice. Now that rice I washed for about 5 to 6 times to remove excess starch because I didn't power it. So I just throw in my water to also help the cooking easy. So I'm going to stir that around until everything is coated with the rice. So I'm going to grab in a foil to help the steaming very easy for me. Now remember I didn't power the rice so the foil will actually help trap the steam to enable the rice to cook very properly. So cover that very very well, let it be airtight, make sure it's tightly closed so that the steam won't escape. Now you're going to allow this to cook until the, you notice that the water is completely dried out, then you can come back and check. Yes, this is the first phase, now the, the, the water is completely dried, now see how the rice is looking, like I said it's going to come out just like jollof plantain. For more meaty bites, I just added my suya and my carrots. So I'm not I'm just gonna be stirring this around until it is combined. Now when stirring, don't forget to throw the side. You will want to create another mess. So that's for the turning. So I'll have to cover that a little bit to allow the carrots to cook a little bit. Okay, so now see, it's looking so young. Now, because I love colors, I just added my green pepper and my red bell pepper. Now, this is to give it more color. I love my food, so colorful. You can actually omit that if you want to. So, I'm just gonna stir everything around until everything is combined. And yeah, that's all. That's all for the jello, okay, plantain jello rice. I know you like it, so this is, this is like what I told you that it will come out like the normal general rice, it will just come out like the plant thing, the general plant Alright, guys, if you like this video, please come here, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and don't forget to hit the like button. Alright, I'm going to come more with uh, the. the I'm definitely coming back with lots of ideas. Now this is not the only recipe I have ever developed. There's this this um is it palm snail rice? Like I'm I'm here to give it a name. I prepared it with a snail with palm oil, cinnamon, turmeric, onion together. Okay, don't worry, I'm gonna leave the link below so you can also check that out. Damn, I still don't understand. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you. Bye bye.